So we don't believe in the next life just to avoid this consequence. But that will not excuse us. Uh, we have to accept a type of body. Otherwise, how? There are so many different types of bodies. What is the explanation? Why different forms of body, different stages of body, different standard of body? <coughs> there is nature's law. Therefore, this human form of life should be properly utilized, not simply engaged in sense gratification like cats and dogs. That is not very responsible life. Responsible life is that I have got this imp improved form of life uh, than the cats and dogs, and I have got more intelligence than the cats and dogs. <coughs> if I simply utilize it for four bodily necessities of life, four bodily necessities of life means we require some eating. The cats, dogs, human beings, <coughs> or high court judge or anyone, they require some eating. They require sleeping, apartment. So that is, they would, dog, cats and dogs can sleep without apartment. Uh, but the sleeping required, that is fact. Eating required, that is fact. And sex life, that is also fact. And defense, that is also fact. But these things are common to the cats and dogs and uh, man, human being. So what is the special feature of the human being? The special feature of the human being is that a human being can consider that I have got this nice American and Australian and Indian body, then what I am going to get next? What kind of number? That is utilized for <coughs> human intelligence. A cat and dog cannot think like that. Therefore our business should be, now by the nature's way I have come to this form of life by evolutionary process. Now I have got good intelligence. Uh, how I shall utilize it? You are cultivating knowledge. The ultimate goal of knowledge, Krishna says, is to know me. Veda is to sadvai ahameva vedam. The whole knowledge is meant for understanding God. That is the end of knowledge. By progressive knowledge, you can make progress. But unless you do not come to the point to understand what is God, then your knowledge is imperfect. That is called Vedanta. Hathata Brahma Jiggasa. This human form of life, <coughs> nice facility, uh, intelligence, just like Australia was undeveloped since the Europeans came here. It is now very developed, resourceful, they, because the intelligence has been utilized. Mayadhakshenaprakiti Svyate Satcharatana. Nature is a machine. To do thing, a machine works without an operator. Do you think? Is there any evidence? Huh? Now this is a machine, photography. A wonderful machine, it is taking the picture and it will move. But there is an operator. Where is the machine which is working without operator? Can you give any example? Here is a machine which is working without operator. So how do you think that the nature machine is working without the supreme operator, God's instruction? How do you think it? This is not very reasonable. Uh, we have to judge. There are different evidences. One of the evidences is hypothesis. 
that hypothesis is that because we see that no machine works without operator, therefore we should conclude it, even though we do not know what is God, what is the nature, we must conclude it that the nature is working under some supreme operator, that is God. It is not necessary to see the operator, but we can guess that there must be operator. The human life is meant for finding out who is there to operate. That is human life. Otherwise it cats and dogs like they are eating, sleeping, mating and dancing, that's all. That is not human life. You must find out who is the operator. Athāta brahma jīgyāsā, this is called in Sanskrit word. Now this human form of life is meant for inquiring about the supreme operator. Now that supreme operator, Krishna, is so kind, he is giving evidence in the Bhagavad-gītā. Maya dhakse nāpakiti śyate sacharāsaram. Now here I am, under my direction, the Prakriti, the nature, material nature is working. So you accept, then your business is done. And Krishna gave evidences how he is controlling the nature. When Krishna was seven years old, he lifted one big mountain on his finger. That means the we, our understanding is that there is law of gravitation. By law of gravitation such a big mountain, it cannot stay in one man's finger. That is our calculation. But he did it. That means he counteracted the law of gravitation. And that is God. So if you believe this, then you, are, you know. God, immediately. There is no difficulty. Just like if if the child is born, my dear child, do not touch fire, it will burn you. So if the child accepts, then he gets the perfect knowledge immediately. If the child does not accept, he wants to make experiment, then he will burn his finger. So our process of knowledge we should take from the supreme authority. Then we save time for research work. That is Krishna consciousness movement. We take perfect knowledge from Krishna. I may be imperfect, just like child is imperfect. I may be imperfect, you may be imperfect. But if you take the perfect knowledge from the supreme perfect, then your knowledge is perfect. That is the process. This is called avarohopantha, knowledge coming, deductive knowledge. Uh, so everything is there, and if you uh, like to take advantage of this movement, make your life perfect, go back to home, back to Godhead, then fully utilize the center, our Melbourne center, come here, read our books and argue, try to understand with your full knowledge, no blindly acceptance. Uh, There is reason, there is argument, there is philosophy, there is science, everything is there. Uh, And if you accept that simply by chanting I shall realize, that is also allowed, Uh, both ways. If you accept this simple process, the chant Hare Krishna and realize God, that is also fact. And if you think, what is this nonsense, chanting Hare Krishna, then you read books. <coughs> Both ways we are prepared. Come and take advantage of this moment. Thank you very much. Jai, Jai, Jai. 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 Rides on a, on a swan, a hamsa. It, is this, we take this to mean that it's a real swan or is it something 
symbolic. Not symbolic. It's fact. <coughs> Why do you say symbolic? It's rather unusual. Unusual? What experience you have got? <coughs> you have no experience. Have you got any experience of other planetary system? What is there? <coughs> then? Your experience is very teeny. So you should not calculate. Brahma's life and other things by your teeny experience. <laughs> now, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that the duration of life of Brahma, Sahasra Yuga Pajantam Arahajat Brahma no Vidu. Now, Brahma's life, it is stated in the Shastra. We have already explained that we accept the authoritative statement of Shastra. Now, Brahma's life is stated there, or hop means his one day is equal to our four jugas. Four jugas means forty-three hundred, four million three hundred thousand years, and multiply it by one thousand. Sahasra juga pardyantam. Sahasra means one thousand. And juga, juga means the four million Three hundred thousand years makes a jugo, and multiply it by one thousand. That period is Brahma's one day. Similarly, he has got one night. Similarly, he has got one month. Similarly, he has got one year, and such hundred years he will live. So how you can calculate? How it is within your experience? You will think something mysterious? No. Your experience is nothing. Therefore, you have to take experience from the perfect person, Krishna. Then your knowledge is perfect. That I have already said. Don't try to understand with your teeny experience everything. Then you will be failure. Yes. That I have already explained. That uh, you are coming here, even though you are not initiated, that is also service. So, if you deposit one cent daily, one day it may become hundred dollars. So, when you get the hundred dollars, you can get the business. <laughs> So you come here daily, one cent, one cent. When it will be hundred dollars, you will become a devotee. So this is not wasted. It is uh, that is stated in the Simad Bhagavata. Krita Punna Punya. Krita Punna. Krita means done. And Sukhdev Goswami is describing. When Krishna was playing with his coward boy's friends, so he was describing that these coward boys who are playing with Krishna, they have not come to this position in one day. Kritapunna punja, after life, after life, having performed pious activities, now they have come to this position, that they are allowed to play with the Supreme. Is, they're suffering when they actually when they say that they're happy and they're not afraid to die. <coughs> Someone who is not afraid to die and says that he's not suffering. How do he's a madman. Who is caring for madmen? <laughs> It's very easy to convince some people they're not their bodies. But it's not very easy to convince them they're not their minds. Is there some, some way we can explain? That will take time. How can we expect? In one minute everyone will understand everything. It requires education, time. If he's prepared to give the time, then he will understand. <coughs> not that 
Within five minutes, ten minutes, he'll understand the whole thing. That's not possible. He is a diseased man. He requires treatment, medicine, and diet. In this way, he will understand. A diseased man, if he doesn't care for medicine, diet, then he'll suffer. That's all. Yes? Anyone? No? Yes, yes. Um, If we've been here lifetime after lifetime performing impious activities, well, does it mean that we have to be here lifetime after lifetime performing pious activities to balance our our sinful reactions? Mm -hmm. We have been here for many lifetimes performing (coughs) sinful activities. So is it possible to counteract all those sinful activities in one lifetime, or does it require many One lives? minute. That is Krishna consciousness movement. One minute. You are not reading Bhagavad Gita? What Krishna says? Sarva sarmahan paritajya mami kang saranang braja angta sarva pape bhavakshayani. You surrender to me, give up your all business. I will give you relief from all sinful reaction. Immediately. It decurs one minute. <coughs> My dear Krishna, I was forgotten. Now I understand. I fully surrender to you. And I will become immediately free from all sin. Without any reservation. Without any politics. If you fully surrender, Krishna is assuring. Ahankva sarva papi, He reassures. Don't worry whether I will be able to, to give you relief from all things. Mahasucho. It is guaranteed. You do this. So, how much time it requires to surrender to Krishna? Immediately you can do that. Surrender means you surrender and what? As Krishna says, that is surrender. What Krishna says to do? Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji maagnamaskuru. Four things. You always think of me and you become my devotee, you worship me and offer your respect, full obeisances. And you do these four things. That is full surrender. Mami Vaishasi, Asangsa. Then you come to me without any doubt. Everything is there. Uh, Krishna has given everything fully. If you accept it, then life is very simple. There is no difficulty. Yes? How long do you say it is before? Krishna comes to this planet again in physical form, in human form. Anyway, what is your Australian conclusion? Let me know. The opinion is something else. Anyway, I give you the right figure, four million, according to American and English calculation. Four million. 300,000 years and multiply it by 1,000. Then what it comes according to English calculation? Four billion, four billion, three hundred million. Uh, four billion, three hundred million. Uh, that is 12 hours. And add again 12 hours night. Then 8 billion. 600 million. So Krishna comes after this period. <laughs> In one day, after one day, a Brahma, he appears. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but does uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also appear every, every yeah. day of Brahma? Yes, uh, following, following Krishna. Krishna comes in the Dhapurju. There are four periods of each Jew. Similarly, Krishna 
after finishing his business in, in this universe, he goes to another universe. In this way, the rotation takes eight million, nine, nine billion years. Now just imagine how many universes are there. He stays in one universe for 125 years. Everything is a calculation in this asana. Now we can imagine how many universes are there. That is altogether material world. That is stated in the Athabhavahunaitina, Kingatina, Sabhajna. Vishtabhya aham idam kristam ekam sina sthitu jagat. This material creation is one fourth creation of the whole God's property. And the three fourth part is in the spiritual world. That is God. Not that cheap God. I am God. It is God. You don't accept such cheap God. As you all the devotees here are your disciples, Srila Prabhupada, eternal disciples, eternal servitors. And what if we have to take birth in the material world in the next life? How will we be able to render direct service unto you? Yes. Even if you remain in the material, if you are not completed <coughs> your spiritual life, still you'll get good birth. Sujinanga Srimatangi he Yoga Brasta Sanyas. One who is very old in completing Krishna consciousness, then he is given next chance in a very aristocratic family or very nice, pure Brahmin's family, so that he can again cultivate Krishna consciousness. Next chance. So Everything is there is process. If we follow the process, then you go back. If you fall down, that is our fault. Therefore the life is meant for tapasa. That Rishabh is in instruction. That our life should not be wasted like dogs and hogs and pigs. It should be utilized for tapasa, for understanding our position. Tapa putra kajina suddhita satya. This is the aim of life. We have to purify our existence. At the present moment, our existence is impurified. Therefore, we are subjected <coughs> to birth, death, old age, and disease. And as soon as we purify ourselves, then we are not subjected to these four material laws. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes.